You're still watching Village Square Africa. Now let's take a look at the crucial development, but really, really sad, uh, going on in Tigray, Mekele, the capital city, to be precise. Now, the Women's Association of Tigray has raised its voice in the wake of a horrific incident that unfolded on the streets of Mekele, which is the capital city of the Tigray region. Now, the association is demanding a thorough investigation into the brutal killing of Zildu Haftu, who, uh, who was a 32-year-old woman who lost her life to unknown assailants. This incident, which occurred on the 20th of August, has ignited concerns about the safety and, of course, the security of women in that region. Now, to further discuss this and help us understand the development so far, my guest is Ms. Berhen Gebre Kerstos, uh, Mezgo, the co-founder and operation manager at Wegata, a civil society organization which supports women and children. Ms. Berhen, thank you so much for joining us. Now, uh, Ms. Berhan, let's just uh, go straight to the conversation at hand. Yeah, it is quite disturbing me. and uh, unfortunate uh, what's happening in Mekele, the capital city of Tigray. Now, we understand that this chilling and heartbreaking event isn't a first. Considering the outcry of the Women's Association, how did it get so bad? Uh, as we was stated uh, in Tigray after the uh, the the war that happened in Tigray, the extreme war violence, there was a big violence, sexual violence by the time of war, maybe one of the biggest in the history. Uh, so even now there is ongoing sexual violence in Tigray, as, we, as you stated, uh, Zaudu is one of the victims, maybe Zaudu killed in street, in public, uh, but I believe there are many Zaudus behind the scene. Uh, so I think this comes from the 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 state is not unstable unstable uh, maybe still it's weak and the legal and social structures are still weak and it's not working properly so uh, we didn't hear anything about those uh, perpetrators until now the Tigray government is not giving any information or any uh, legal uh, replace for the Dodus killing and uh, trying to reproduce Zodu. So uh, yeah, we have, we have I have been hearing many many sexual violence survivors, domestic survivors, especially now. Uh, actually, it's all over in Ethiopia. Uh, we have been hearing a nine-year-old. Uh, from South, South, so I'm sorry, from Somalia, and in Addis there are many women. So uh, the gender-based violence is become sensitive and it's aggravating. The agenda is very aggravating. Uh, so in Tigray, from what I, what I, uh, what I, I am seeing, there is every mental health issues and uh, disruption of social family, uh, and this leads to the you know the the displacement uh, the social fabric does lose so the breakdown of traditional support networks uh under creates of sense, uh, sense of isolation and dispersion in this much circumstance individuals you know like zodu like me uh develops as a way the boys especially the uh, the the, the men are Uh, Ms. Berhan, can you hear me? Ms. Berhan, are you there? Well, uh, while we wait for Ms. Berhan to join, I think from what she was trying to say, um, Zildu is just one of so many other victims uh, of sexual violence, especially gender-based. And uh, according to her, the government hasn't exactly done anything uh, to, to quell such incidences. And that's why we're having a recurrence. And I, I was going to ask her um, why that is, because she mentioned that this is just the only issue that we know. There's so many others. And uh, this stems from the war, probably, or maybe after a situation after the war, um, I, I would really love to have Berhan back to confirm. Ms. Berhan, can you hear us? Ms. Berhan, can you confirm that you can hear me?
Okay, while we wait for uh, Berhan to join, this is uh, just giving you the update. There's been a series of killings, especially gender-based uh, domestic violence against women in Mekele, the, Tigre, the capital city, city of Tigray, and uh, women have uh, come across. Okay, I, um, I understand that we have Ms. Berhan back. Ms. Berhan, can you hear me? Yes, I am hearing you. Great. I okay, I, I was going to ask, one because one you question. mentioned that Zeldu is just one of the victims that we know, and there are so many others that we do not know. I was going to ask, because of course yes. we asked already how it got yes. so bad, but yeah. why is because it that the Zodou, government hasn't... Zeldu's killing is in public, but I believe there are uh, there are many Zeldu's behind that. There are many victims in... Right. Uh, I was going to take you so, up on that, Ms. Berhan. I was going to say that why is Zodou, it that the government hasn't yeah, exactly he, weighed he, in on the situation? Public? Yeah, it got out and she become a voice but we didn't get uh, even and uh, there is no ongoing an, an investigation because the Tigray government is not giving us any information about it and reply to the family to uh, any associations women associations to the people of Tigray who are demanding justice for Zodu yeah so uh, she was trying to protect herself from the sexual abuse. Uh, so I am calling the local leadership and uh, Tigray to stop this madness and protect the women of Tigray. I am demanding that as every woman in Tigray, because well, I, as, as me, I don't feel safe. We're not feeling safe anymore uh, because of the ongoing uh, sexual violence in Tigray. And this responsibility is not only the Tigran, uh, but all over who are working on the GBV, gender-based violence, international organizations, local communities, and the NGOs. They have, uh, they can play a role to support these survivors and working towards the, you know, to the safe and peaceful society. Maybe that's what we are lacking as a Tigran and. Uh, that's what came this violence is keeping. That's what lack of access to this legal reconciliation records and uh, this peaceful society. So, yeah, if, if you are hearing me correctly. Okay, uh, Ms. Birhan, um, I would really like to know this new campaign that the Women Association have embarked on, has it gotten any attention so far? I mean, we've heard complaints that the government hasn't done anything about gender-based violence, uh, regardless of the, the numerous killings, even after the war. This particular campaign, has there, any, has there been any attention to it so far? Has there been any response? Yeah, to Grand, to grand Association, that special, the, the women are asking for... Uh, uh, Ms. Berhan? Well, uh, from what she was saying, um, there hasn't exactly been any attention from the government and the women are still complaining that this has gone on for far too long. Uh, she also mentioned that uh, she no longer feels safe and so do thousands of women in Mekele, the Tigray region. It's quite unfortunate that this is happening. Uh, and, you know, when we talk about gender-based violence, it's not just against the women because from the clip we see that, um, you know, some men have also fallen victim. It's, it's just unfortunate and we hope that there is a resolution to this issue and very soon. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to Ms. Berhan. Unfortunately, the network didn't let us uh, hear from her as much, but I mean, we heard, you know, enough. Thank you so much, Ms. Berhan.